let's griddle up some soup. Taco soup to be exact. So to start our ingredients off, we got some beef broth, rotel tomatoes, can of crushed tomatoes, black beans I'm going to drain and rinse, some mild chili beans I'm not going to drain, some corn I will drain, and a little sour cream to garnish it off. Next, we got one pound 80 20 ground beef, one packet each of taco and ranch mix, and then we got one teaspoon of minced garlic, eighth of a teaspoon of oregano, eighth of a teaspoon of cumin, eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, some Mexican blend cheese, one cup chopped onion, fourth of a cup fresh jalapeno chopped. All right, so I got my still made griddle preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to put a small pot down and come in with two cups of beef broth. Nothing fancy here, just two cups of beef broth. I'm going to pour that in there. And this right here, you don't typically think of soup and a griddle going together, but this right here will heat up my liquid part of the soup as I go along. I'm going to come in with my crushed tomatoes, just pour them in here, make a little mess, no big deal, <laughs> unless you're my wife. And then I'm going to come on in next with my little Rotel tomatoes, and all it is just diced green chilies and tomatoes. So I'm going to pour that in there as well. Then I'm coming in with my spice mixture. So like I said earlier, nothing too crazy here. Most of us probably already in your spice cabinet. Just get it in there as good as you can. And then, uh, a little bit more here. Want to get all that? Yes, yes. And I'm going to come in with my whisk and just kind of whisk it together. It's right here. I'm not trying to boil it or anything like that. Just kind of letting it heat up and get it going. I'll push this to the back of the griddle so we have room to work on the front of the griddle. See, told you I wasn't lying. Push it right there to the back, just like I said I would. Up here, I'm searing up a little ground beef, get some nice little crust going on it, lots of flavor. Over here, I'm going to come in with one tablespoon of butter. And I would say you all, as smart as you are, know what's getting ready to happen. Some of you who's really, really watching these videos are like, whoa, where's the garlic herb butter? And I don't have it. I'm sorry. I got to make some out of it. This will work. And plop them down. So right here is just some good old onion. Some good old jalapeno. Nothing too crazy. Get it all out. Then I'm going to grab my spatulas. And just toss it around and give it a little butter bath. Ain't nothing wrong with a little butter bath. I like to take one myself sometime. Starting to come along nicely. Each of them are going to get three minutes of griddle time before I fool with them. Let them get some nice color to them. More flavor. Three minutes have passed, so let's give it a little check here. Come in with the spatulas. And... Yeah. It's starting to golden up a little bit. Not sure how well it'll show up on camera, but I think, hey, I'm pretty pleased with it. We'll keep working with it. I think it's time to go ahead and season it just a little with some salt. A couple grinds of salt. Come in with some fresh black pepper to crack... What? Okay, why is my pepper not going on there? Let's, uh, let's try it. Oh, lid's on. <laughs> Silly me. Ooh, how embarrassing. Anywho, set that back to the side, come in, and I'm going to toss them again. Just give them one little toss over, kind of mix that salt and that pepper over. I'm going to keep cooking these down. I don't want to cook them down like to where they're mush or anything like that, but I do want a lot of nice little golden, maybe even a little char in some places. I think it'll elevate it, check the beef. Actually, I'm going to scrape the little grease down here. This is on my stove. It's really neat. still has a grease trap, so it's on the range inside my house, and I am using it. you got to be careful when you're doing a lot of grease. It's got an 8-ounce drip tray, which will do good in most cases, but hey, it's awesome to be able to cook inside. And flip. Oh, yes. Hmm. I am liking what I'm seeing. I'm going to give these three minutes again. Should have said this earlier, but it's a good idea to go ahead and stir back here a little liquid so it don't burn on the bottom or start filming up on top, anything nasty or icky. Just a couple little whisk every couple minutes. will do good. Get out of there, tomatoes. Shake. Come on. There we go. Oh, one's on the griddle. They decided it was done with the pot. It's like the hot tub's too hot. But anywho, three minutes. We'll check them again. ASMR time. You're welcome. There's a tomato I told you about. Oh, sorry. For ASMR time. So my onion and jalapeno is getting pretty close to where I want it. So I'm just going to kind of mix it up, push it back. And that way I have some more space up here to work with in the front. Yeah, the tomato's going with it too. Why not live life, I say. Press it down. Kind of let it keep doing its thing. Clean the spatulas. Come in. I am going to check my beef. Actually, I'm going to check it. But like I said, I'm just going to kind of pull that down to the grease trap down there. Yes. Get that clear, nice clear surface. And let's check and see what we got. Other side, yep. Hey, look at that. Yeah, not looking bad at all. So here's where it gets really fun to start chopping it. And this right here, I don't know if you ever had it before. Chopped cheese, great. Guess what? Got a video for it. Shameless plug. 
but it's fun to do this. I like to brown it on both sides and chop all that flavor in. Just kind of keep mixing it up. No big deal. See a big piece? Chop it down. Pretty simple. You're going for a texture here of how thick you want your little chunks of meat to be in your soup. So you can see I'm scraping off a little area over here, getting a clean griddle canvas, because I'm coming in with, drum roll please, corn. Yes, it's the corn from earlier. You can see here I drained it, and I'm going to dump it on down on the griddle. Already says it's golden corn. I'm going to golden it up a little bit more, fry it a little bit. And depending on when you're watching this, it's either going to be really relevant or really probably confusing. But if you're saying, it's corn, a big lump with knobs, it's got the juice, it's got the juice. Yeah, that's a great song. And if you're singing that, we can totally be friends. It's going to be a shame if they don't win a Grammy. That was a good song. I hope that little kid does well in life. ASMR for realsies this time, promise. Butter time for the corn. I'm just going to toss it on there, melt it down, help it golden up a little bit, nothing too crazy. Toss it around. You can see back there I got my onions and jalapenos. That's the warm spot of this griddle. And like I said, it's on my range, so the way my burners are laid out, that right there is off the direct heat. It'll keep them warm. They'll cook just a little bit, nothing too crazy. Check my beef. A little corn on there and toss it around. That one's holding on good. Now I'm going to come in with some butter on it. I don't want nobody to get jealous about the butter. You butter believe it. And so here we're getting ready because we're starting to get to the home stretch of this cook. Nothing too crazy. Just trying to get some little, I guess, good prep work going on. Yes. Time has come for a little flavoring. I'm going to pour a little bit of this ranch on the packet. Nothing too crazy. Just, there's a lot more in this than what you think. Everything's going to get a little ranch, even the little mixture back there, are liquid. And if you wanted to, you could put some of that in when you started. Coming in, same thing with taco mix here. Just rip it off a little bit, put a little on the meat, a little bit on the corn, a little bit on the onions and jalapenos, and a little bit back there in the pot. So it's all the flavor when cooking on. I like to cook a little bit on the heat directly with the food, and then some back there to simmer in the pot, mix it up real well. Like I said, if you want to do this as a start and kind of let the flavor simmer down with the tomatoes and the beef broth back there, by all means, have at it. Whatever floats your boat, and whisk your whisk. I'm going to splash some beef broth, nothing too crazy, just to get a little liquid action going there for the spices we put on the meat. That way it doesn't just burn, it kind of melts a little bit into the meat, so to speak. Toss it down real good, you can see that good bubble action. And if you feel like it's getting a little too dry, just add a splash or two of beef broth. At this point, if you want to, I'm not quite there yet, but you can always add a little bit of that little mixture back there with the tomatoes and beef broth. It'll go perfect. I'm being a little out there. I don't like the corn in my beef just yet, although it don't really matter. It's just who I am. Time to start getting fun. I'm going to come in. I'm going to pull these onions and jalapenos and start mixing that with the meat. I'm just going to start mixing all this together. We'll add our other stuff as we go. This right here is why I like doing this stuff on the griddle. It doesn't seem traditional to have soup and stuff like that made on a griddle, but I can brown my beef. I can brown my veggies, beans, whatever I'm putting in there. Pour a little juice or a little broth or sauce or whatever in it and let it reduce down as we go. Then add a little bit extra at the end to get my consistency I'm looking for. Yes, yeah, so I'm pulling some corn out. It's uh, it's just it's who I am. I don't want the corn in there yet, although it could go in there. Yes, I don't. Yep. Where's all this corn coming from? That's probably all the corn in that pile next to it. You're saying? Anywho, no big deal. I'm gonna come in with a little beef broth. Toss it around. A couple splashes. Let it simmer down. Enjoy the smell. Tons of good smell going on right now. Toss it around. Get it mixed. You don't want to have a little bit of an incident to where it goes over the edge. So be careful. Be smart. Be prepared. Toss it around. Clean it off. Press it down. And yes, I'm going to toss this corn. See where we're at. I'm pretty well liking where it's at. It's getting there. A little bit of broth to kind of release some of that. It's kind of a little stuck in a couple places. No big deal. It'll reduce really good with that. Toss it around. Get the flip. Corn's all happy. Get it around. Everything's good. All that little bits of flavor we just got off by putting the broth on there. No big deal. Yep, there it goes. We're mixing it all together now. And we'll start mixing this corn really well in there with the onion, the jalapeno, all that. We're just kind of making all this come together as one. 
So I do this a lot when I'm griddling, just kind of make me a little well there. I'm gonna come in with a spoon and I'm gonna get some of this little tomatoey broth mixture we've been making earlier. I'm gonna put that in there and we'll start putting it in there and reduce it down. You can kind of do this, gets that flavor brought out. Just kind of do this as much as you want. We can always add more of it at the end to get the desired consistency. We want to make it more soup-like. A little bit of overspill there. No worries though. Just toss it in, mix it in, reduce it down. Oh yeah. Well, it's time for a well again. This time what for you may ask? It's time for the black beans. Like I said, I drained and rinsed these. I'm gonna pour them in, mix them in too. You know the process. That was another ASMR freebie. Hey, what do pirates listen to to help relax and focus? ASMR. Another well made this time for our chili beans. I'm just gonna pour these in. I went with the white chili beans. Any of them will work. I just thought they'd give a little different color to it. I like some nice contrast when I'm cooking stuff. Just like for my chili or anything. It's nice to have some different colors popping. Let's mix it in. And our little broth mixture back there, don't be afraid to use it if you want. I like to pour a little in, reduce it down as I go. You're going to have plenty even after you reduce it down to get a nice soup mixture. I'm slinging it everywhere. I better start finishing this cook before I end up in the doghouse. I wonder if the doghouse has a griddle. Then it may not be as bad. You get the picture. Just kind of keep doing this. And this. Once it's reduced to your liking, just put it in the bowl and then you can add a little bit more of our liquid from over in the little pot till you get your desired soupy consistency. I like to go ahead and put a little cheese on my portion, melt it down nice. If I had some of them colorful tortilla strips, you best believe I would be using them. Unfortunately, I don't, but I do have sour cream. Let's get the taste test table and try it. All right, so we made it back to the taste test table. Sometimes I get a little reckless at the taste test table and I like toss it up, turn it, flip it. It's a soup. Uh, I'm going to be smart about that, but I am going to mix it. Oh yeah. I hope it'll show up some steam getting that good old sour creamy goodness in there. Mix it up a little. Smells great. I wish y'all could smell it. Let's see. Get it nice and mixed. Yeah. I know a lot of people's like, Oh, this is, does not seem like the best way to make it. I have fun doing it and that's why I do this stuff on this channel. I enjoy it. I have fun and I hope someone that's watching it has fun too. I'm not in this to be a food snob or anything like this. Uh, but with that being said, I do like trying different things. The griddle, uh, is really a fun way to go about it. I think I like to cook everything on it, brown it, sear it, got my little pot back there with the, uh, juice going on little tomatoes mixture beef broth all that and then i just added in there get my consistency i like i did a chili bean video very similar to this if you haven't checked that out maybe check it out like 20 people's watched it or something and uh, it's getting lonely on there but with that being said i really love how it turned out and i think i'm gonna love how this turns out too so it's super hot let's give it a try about time you stop stirring. Not even gonna blow on it, just going. Mm. I've had a big hankering, so to speak, for uh, taco soup. The weather's getting a little colder. And this right here, sticking to these ribs. <laughs> I know, like nothing else has already stuck there before, right? But. There's very little heat. I figured that, you know, I only did, uh, it was about a medium jalapeno. It was about a fourth of a cup. Uh, I did have about an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. I think it's just gave it a really good flavor. Some people may think that ranch would be a little out there, but if I'm being honest, it's, it's all just came together to make like a little, um, uh, a nice little food harmony, I guess. It's nothing's overpowering. If you want it a little more spicy, Add a little bit more jalapeno, add a little bit more cayenne, chili powder, whatever floats your boat. Uh, I really don't think that most people would find this too spicy, but if, if you're really sensitive to the spicy level, just omit the cayenne, 
or you know use a green pepper instead of a jalapeno or a little bit different something like that regardless um, personalize it this right here is just uh, something i went with and i'm glad i did so i'm also glad you all are taking the time to watch me i'd really appreciate it if you all spread the word about the channel it helps me grow i enjoy that uh, getting more people hearing some different comments a lot of them's rude comments but they say that there's no such thing as bad publicity although that's highly debatable but with that being said if you'd please take the time to consider if you haven't already done so to like comment hey subscribe thank you share and turn on post notifications so you know when new content is added to the channel as always i'm garrett the griddler appreciate each and every one of you until next time let's keep cooking well, hot. Oh, hey there. Did you know that October 4th is National Taco Day? This Griddler didn't, and had I known, I'd got this video out a few days earlier for a few cheap search result views. When's National Kitty Day? We'll be ready for that one, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Yes. Yeah, we'll be ready. Woo, woo. My chair bell broke. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. That's how you can help out Gare. Ooh, and turn on the post notifications too. Thank you.